everyone, welcome to my channel. So my name is Hannah and I am in the middle of a house renovation. So I thought I would start my YouTube channel up again and just document the process. I'll be doing lots of interiors videos, lots of DIY videos, um, lots of room tours, house tours, that kind of thing. So please stick around if you're interested in that kind of content because I'll be uploading two videos a week and I'd love to have you join. So today's video is going to be a ensuite bathroom tour. So that's where I am now. You may have seen a sneak peek of this bathroom in my previous video, which was actually a whole house clean with me. So if you love cleaning videos like I do, please go and have a look at that and then come back and watch this one or go and watch that one after you watch this one. That's probably best. So I will link it up here for you to go and have a look at that. So just a little bit of background about the house. So it's a three bedroom terrace, but this is actually the third bedroom. So it's quite common in terrace houses in England to have a sort of small box room off the main bedroom. And the previous owners to this house used to have it as a, like a walk-in wardrobe or a sort of storage area. I guess you could have it as an office or a nursery and things like that. Um, however, the bar, the main bathroom is actually downstairs in most terrace houses. Um, and that's fine, we still have a lovely bathroom downstairs that we've just recently renovated as well. Um, but we really wanted a bathroom upstairs, I just think it's just so much better to have an upstairs bathroom as well. Um, so that's what we've decided to do. So this is our ensuite bathroom. So the main theme of this bathroom is monochrome and sort of that crittle style. So now I'm just going to show you a few before pictures so you know exactly what we were dealing with when we first moved into this house. So like I said, it was just a box room. And the previous owners were using this as a wardrobe, sort of a clothes storage area, but we also wanted to turn it into a ensuite. So obviously there was no plumbing in here before, so that was a major task. We started this project in October last year and it was finished in November. So it took a whole month completed, but our plumber, they worked so hard and they were so good. They had to completely redo all of our pipe work. We actually moved the boiler in here. So I'll show you the boiler cupboard in a minute but our boiler was originally downstairs in the kitchen and we've had the kitchen redone too, so stay tuned for a kitchen tour. But the boiler was an absolute eyesore in the kitchen. It was sort of straight in front of you as you walked into the kitchen and it just looked horrendous. And I knew the first thing I wanted to do was move it into here. Um, and that was a major, major task. So all of the pipe work, all of the gas pipes had to be moved from the kitchen up here. So that actually cost us over a thousand pounds in itself just to move the boiler. But I'm so glad we did that because it's made such a difference. So we had the boiler put in here and we had sort of a dummy cupboard made around it. So again, I'll show you in more detail later. So the first thing was um, we had all of the walls replastered. We had tiles put on the floor and the walls. And actually we got all the windows replaced too. Um, so that's a brand new window here. We still haven't got a blind yet for the window, um, but it is frosted, so I'm hoping no one can see me when I'm in the shower. Um, but we'll see, who knows? Uh, maybe they can. And now I'm just gonna show you around the bathroom. It won't take too long because obviously it's just an ensuite, it's relatively small. And I will talk you through where everything is from. I'm also gonna link everything in the description bar below. Uh, so one of the funny things was we love soak.com. So it's a really nice online bathroom store and it pretty much had everything I wanted. It is quite expensive and because we were doing our entire house, we had a really strict budget. So we had to try and keep costs down as much as we can. So we found some really good items that I love from soak.com and out of a complete whim, my partner decided just to look on Amazon to see if they had any sort of similar items on Amazon. Um, and we found the exact same products, but for half the price. And the funny thing was, when everything was delivered, they were actually delivered in soap.com boxes, and the customer service was soap.com, which was just crazy to me. Um, but I'm very glad we found that out. So I guess now it's just time to start the tour. So this is the shot as you walk into the bathroom. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the plant stand. If you did watch my last video, which was a clean with me, you'll know we are in the middle of renovating. So that is the next room we are doing. So we've had the walls plastered and we've painted. We just need to sand the floor and do the skirting boards. So please excuse that. So I'll be showing the rest of the renovation process in that bedroom soon. So do stick around if you're interested in this kind of content. So this is actually from Sainsbury's. Now Sainsbury's have some amazing pieces in and the plant is from Beards and Daisies. So this is the most high maintenance plant. So I actually love this plant. It's got the beautiful pink underside and it's got these really vibrant green leaves with the sort of pink stripes. But anyway, the plant stand is this beautiful green color. Now that's the theme you'll see throughout this video is this gorgeous green that I absolutely love. So green and copper was kind of the main theme. So then I've got the planter here, which was from Sainsbury's. And then I also have this gorgeous plant stand here, which is also from Sainsbury's. Now, I got these obviously last year, um, so they're probably not in stock anymore, but if I do find anything similar, I will link them below. 
So we went for this Crittal Grid shower. So we, it's just a walk-in shower, a matte black rain shower head and the taps are there. Um, so the whole shower is covered in these metro tiles. Now these are from walls and floors and we went for black grout. Um, so that's the shower, so we have the tea bar up there. The ceiling lights in here are matte black spotlights, so we have four in total. That's a really good number for this size room. So if I just bring you back down, we've got the shower tray, which is just a standard shower tray. I'll link that down below again. The floor tiles are these absolutely beautiful hexagon floor tiles and these were also from walls and floors and they come in a sheet. Then if I just show you this corner here, I've got another plant. Now this is a striped prayer plant, I think they're called. It's from the Calathea family. And again, it's probably looking a bit worse for wears now, but um, I'm trying my best to keep this alive. And the pot is just a pot from home base. I'm going to be getting a different pot, but for now this one does the job. Now this little basket here is from Ikea, and I think it works really well in this bathroom, just to hold extra towels and things. So these are all clean towels that we'll be switching out when the other ones go in the wash. And again, we've got a half tiled wall here with the walls and floors, flat, matte, white, metro tiles. Now this is the boiler cupboard now, um, but originally this wasn't a cupboard at all. Um, so this is a stud wall that our builder put in, which was absolutely amazing. And the door is from Wix and the handle is from B&Q, I believe. So I'll link those down below as well. But I really love the effect that this gives and it's absolutely great to just shove things in here when we want to. So there's the boiler, so it really was an eyesore downstairs in the kitchen, so I'm so glad we put it in here. So then moving round, we have some more um, tiles, so now this is the window with no blind. Um, so we need to get a blind here, um, but then we have the toilet and the toilet roll holder. So this is a matte black toilet roll holder, and that's just from Matalan. The toilet is from soak.com, and then we've got the sink, which is one of my favorite pieces in this bathroom, actually. It's got this gorgeous wood effect, which really complements the sort of pops of green we've got in here as well. So this is actually from iBath UK. So the tap and the plug are also from iBath UK on Amazon. And then one of the best purchases I made was this beautiful crittle style mirror. This was an absolute bargain from Aldi for 55 pounds. Now they are sold out now so you won't be able to get your hands on one of these but I'm so chuffed that I managed to pick this up when it was in stock. So I will link some similar ones down below if you like the style mirror because I know they're really really popular at the minute. The drawers are really good and really deep and you can fit so much stuff in there. I'm not going to show you what's in the drawers because they're a bit of a mess. Maybe I'll do a bathroom organisation video soon as well. A lot of the taps in this bathroom are matte black which is great and they look beautiful but we're in quite a hard water area so it does take quite a lot of cleaning. And then finally we have our towel rail which is matte black and it is from Amazon. And then we have our towels which again are this gorgeous green colour and they're from John Lewis. They are 100% Egyptian cotton towels and they're really 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 lovely. So that's it. So if I just give you a final view of the bathroom. So as you walk in you've got the shower on the left hand side which is a complete walk-in shower. We've then got my plant and my towel basket, uh, toilet and sink. So it's a really, really perfect size actually. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment below letting me know what your favourite part of the bathroom was or maybe if you have any ideas for some prints because I'd really like to get some prints maybe here above the plant or maybe above the towel rail. I've seen this really amazing zebra print with some sort of green foliage around it which I think would look really, really nice. So let me know if you think there's anything that will suit this bathroom. So please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!